isn't yet ready to perform miracles like this, but who knows what the future holds? It's fun guessing, though. Aloha and welcome to this special travel episode of Board Stories TV. I'm your host, Chris Otronic, and today we're going to be relaxing in the beautiful western Samoan Islands at the Salani Surf Resort. The waves were pumping and the sun was out for our crew. First up, we're going to see what Samoa and the Salani Surf Resort is all about with our traveling entourage. We're learning about the rich culture heritage of Samoa and experience Fa'a Samoa, the Samoan way of life. After that, a little quality time with father and son duo Kaipo and Kaimana Hakias. And we'll find out what Chris Foster does when he's dry docked. To get this puddle jump across the Pacific started, this crew of Kauaians, Josh Rex, Chris Foster, Kaimana and Kaipo Hakias, Oahu's Tyra Barron, and the two lucky winners of the Free Surf Magazine Travel Contest are getting amped for the short flight. Hawaiian Airlines hooked up the Sky Miles and Waterways Travel took care of the surf camp, turning a dream trip into reality. After this break, we'll be deep in the heart of Polynesia, on the south coast of Polo Island at the Salani Surf Resort. But before we go anywhere, let's take a quick look at a few Hawaiian heavyweights on the North Shore. Samoa's natural and cultural beauty, and of course, pumping surf, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Board Stories from beautiful Samoa. Upon arriving at Faliolo International Airport, the crew was greeted by friendly Salani Surf Resort host, after that, it was off to the resort on the south side of the island for some perfect rights. Peeling at the camp's namesake wave, Salani Wright. Arriving at the resort, we were greeted by Nick Shannon, the camp manager. They're going to be pumping, bro. You guys have timed it perfectly. Perfect. Good south swells, favorable winds. With empty world-class wave just feet away, the crew couldn't believe what they were seeing. After quickly dropping their luggage into their follies, they headed straight into the boat for a ride to the surf. Besides surf, the resort offers numerous different activities. Well, we've got all the everyday sort of activities here, the volleyball, the horseshoes, bocce balls, kayaking, fishing, all that sort of stuff, but we also 
as part of the package to start signing and take guests to waterfalls, beaches, snorkeling trips, fishing trips, it's all an inclusive deal. Um, it's probably one of the best value for money surf resorts in the world. Solani Surf Camp is a very well put together place I think. I, lo I love how the bungalows are all lifted up and they're all right next to each other and there's ping pong and darts and chess. The Solani Surf Camp is sick. It's like my friend's backyard. <laughs> the food, the place, the setup, the hospitality that they bring. Um, we're always having good food. They cater to us surfers. You know, you want to surf, you want to go check out a spot, they're always there at your needs and I think that, that what made it that much more special. Um, you know, you don't need to wait for anybody, they're there waiting for what you want to do. So that made it, you know, that much more convenient, you know, that you're there for a trip and they're there to make it fun for you. Samoa, the only place it compares to is mainly Kauai. It looks like what Kauai would probably look like like 30, 40 years ago or something. It's just all green. Like, not a lot of houses, real mellow people, cool mellow vibes, everyone's super nice. Samoa it compares to home a lot, seeing how green it is and how mellow it is. Reminds me of Hawaii like 40 years ago and just so mellow, cruise, laid back. And you can go up the river on kayak, just the waterfalls and just all the different breaks and the people, best attitude and they're just so hospitable and just so nice and friendly. Stay tuned for more board stars. Up next, we learn about the rich culture of Samoa and check into some of the other spots around the island. Stay tuned. Welcome back to this travel episode of Board Stories from the beautiful, crystal clear South Pacific. Samoa is a traditional Polynesian island nation that proudly retains much of its cultural heritage. The Solani village located next to the resort welcomes guests to experience Fa'a Samoa, the Samoan way of life. Manuel. 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 The first night the resort arranged an all Samoan feast prepared with only Samoan ingredients and cooking techniques. Of course it all starts with a kava ceremony and traditional Samoan song and dance. The Samoan culture is ingrained with Christianity, 98% of the population to be exact. You have to cover your body up all the time, you can't just walk around no shirt like I would at home all the time. Yeah, the girls have to be fully covered. The culture here is super raw, um, the surf is real good like Hawaii, uncrowded, um, a lot of good reef breaks, kind of like a Tahiti, Hawaii. Interesting. Samoa is kind of like Kauai, but... The scenery is the same, people are the same, but it seems a little bit more old school. <laughs> like Sunday, we had good surf, but it's called rest day here. And uh, I was kind of bummed. I was wanting to talk to the chief and make an acceptance, but 
Uh, you gotta respect their, their uh, ways, I guess. <laughs> Sunday is the day of rest, so the surfing crew after breakfast respectfully headed west to a point break left called Boulders. Boulders is all coral, and then it goes straight to like a rock cliff, and there's like caves all along the thing too. Lost my board, my leash broke, and went straight into the cave and just got washed around and banged up all over the place. I swam in, I'm running up the rocks. I had to walk all the way along these rocks, all the way back up, and all of a sudden I get there and Foster walks around the corner with my board. He swam in and got my board for me. After the excitement at Boulders, the crew headed to a nearby waterfall to rinse off in the freshwater pool. But salt water is in their blood, so they headed to the other side of the island where they found a small, rippable right. Everyone loves traveling to new places, and this crew got to see what Samoa is all about firsthand. Kaimana Hakias clarifies why traveling is important to him. The importance of traveling is pretty much knowing how other people live, learning how other people are living, um, seeing how appreciative that you should be when you're at home. Stay tuned for more South Pacific action. Up next, quality time with Kauaians Kaipo and Kaimana Hakias. Welcome back to this travel episode of Board Stories from the Salani Surf Resort. It's a good time to spend some quality time with Kaimana and Kaipo. Kaipo is a powerful surfer and a knowledgeable role model. He's just the most solid surfer ever. He's got a good top turn every time, same turn. Super powerful, throws a lot of spray. He's just a great guy to be around. Being with Kaipo and Kaimana is just um, seeing like their father and son and just like the same style. Surfing with my son, it does push me in certain um, side surf. But in the small stuff, he's doing stuff that you know I can't even do. And he's spinning in the air. If I do that, I lose sense of direction. It's pretty funny. Still don't have the, the weight and the maturity to do a big turn, so still got him on that. I think the new age surfing that he is going on right now is, is amazing. The level that they're going for, the, the, the aerials, the, the twists and whatever you call it, those things is, is great, um, but you still got to have the basics in your surfing and, you know, by me surfing with him, hopefully he can put two and two together and complete his surfing and, and, and be more well-rounded and adapt to whatever conditions come. Surfing with my dad definitely pushes me because he tells me himself in the water, oh, you have some big shoes to fill, or, and then other people tell me, bro, oh, are you going to live up to your dad's standards? Or, I don't know. <laughs> it's fun traveling with my dad. You know, he pushes me, makes sure I don't do stupid stuff along the trip, and helps me out, making sure I don't, you know, get hurt or disrespect somebody. Really, he pretty much just pushes me. Kaipo is not alone in his efforts to raise Kaimana. My wife and I experienced a lot of, you know, great things from surfing when I was on tour. Now Kaimana's turn of, of, of traveling and experience what I've experienced. Um, she's very supportive. Like this trip came about and she was like, you know what, you better go, it's a lifetime opportunity. It's all about having fun. Yeah. <laughs> On the trip, just started, so I want to save my energy because these guys are all my energy. And then just to sit back and watch my son experience this with different people and, and seeing how he adapt to them, you know, it's cool. The age he's at right now, I know he, he's been surfing is that much better than me and um, I just hope he stays on the right track and focuses. Now it's time to catch up with Chris Foster. Unfortunately for Chris, he can't be in the water all the time. 
So what does he do when he can't surf? Let's find out on Dry Dock. My name is Chris Foster. I'm 18 years old and I'm from the island of Kauai. When I'm not surfing, I'm eating Hamura's Simon. When I'm not surfing, I'm watching Magnaplasm or the Bruce movie. Sundown killing on the skin, foam blowing up, fresh water swim hot again. Even when the seasons change, raise heat from the pavement. Well, now I'm at surfing, my favorite music is Andre Nicotina and Benny Benassi. It is rap and techno and reggae. Mary Jane, he'll obey nightcap and his back to the home with the track killer drone. Attack of the Jones, stuff and raps in that dome microphone. I could help make contact when I'm not surfing. I'm trying to pull chips. Seriously, style with the grass and the smile. He'll rap system. And blast beach tour four miles, lazy day in the bay. Gotta get around, get down, just chilling in my town. Take my hand and lead the way. Want some bigger, better things in a brighter day. With you on my right, we could never stray. When I'm not saving the TV show that I watch is Board Story. The move of the week is coming up next. Stay tuned. Well, that's a wrap for this travel episode of War Stories TV from the Salani Surf Resort. And don't forget, we'd love to hear from you. Email us at info at freesurfmagazine.com. Until next time, I'm Chris Latronic. We leave you now with the move of the week. Aloha. Sometimes the best move isn't an air or a turn, but utilizing a perfect barreling wave to its fullest potential. All those words in your head, all those words unsaid, still unspoken. The best part about this place is the right, right in front. It's just amazing. It's the sickest wave and there's only just you and your friends out there. There's nobody even around. The right out at Solani is a nice, mellow right. And then it's like an easy takeoff. And it hits a shelf then and it's just like, it's a perfect barrel. If you get the, the conditions right, you'd definitely be satisfied for surfing for a while. <laughs>